Hello everyone and welcome back to another devlog on my 2D farming game made in the Unity game engine. It's been a while and I had an entire devlog plan but I decided to scrap it because there's just been so much progress ever since I recorded that stuff. I believe in the last episode I showed off the new collectors as well as a lot of visual changes but that's just the start of it. The plan was to release another video when I completed what I called 1.0 of the game. That was over a month ago and we are actually done with 1.1, well, almost. All of this has been done, so I think what we should do is just jump on into the new features and have a look at what's been going on. For this devlog, I'm gonna go ahead and show everything in the game instead of having me talk over some random clips. So the first thing you will notice now is that the game looks very, very different. We've got some dirt tiles here, some new and updated grass, as well as reshaded trees. The walk animation for the player has been added and you'll also see this random sign here. So this is actually a completely new level and now when you start you'll only be able to farm on dirt. This means that I cannot place farms out here, so if we open up the my menu you can see that I can still place farms like before but out here it just doesn't work. I can still place down my farm and then now the crops will start growing. I've changed how that works a bit so now it will take a set amount of time for crops to grow rather than being completely random. The randomness was causing some weird scenarios where for instance sometimes it would take literally minutes for a crop to grow just because it was never really selected. I think keeping the consistency is a better gameplay choice and it also works really really well. Currently there's only three farming spots but you can unlock more if you hover over this sign and as you can see it's going to give us two expansions, it costs 500 gold but when we click it we can see the sign has now moved over here and now we have two more spots where we can do some farming. The next one's obviously going to be a bit more expensive but it's going to have the same idea. Currently it doesn't really fully work yet because I haven't finished this part. Also this is just a world collider, it's not actually going to be in the game. You can still buy all of the collectors as previously but now if you don't want something you can click on it and then this little icon appears above it which you can click to sell it. This also works on collectors and literally anything you want. When I say anything you want, I mean obviously farms, collectors and animals, which we'll get into in a bit. A lot of things has received visual updates and that is because we actually have an artist on the team now. So on the Discord server you will find Kelria, who now is the main person doing the art. I still have an input, but he's the one doing absolutely everything. Besides changing a lot of the visuals, we've also fixed the scaling issue that the game suffered from, and that is that we had things that had a different pixel per unit size in the engine, which means that some pixels may look bigger than others. Essentially, a unit in Unity can take up a certain amount of pixels depending on what you've set it as, and that should be the same within every every game. Like, every artwork should be the, have the same one. And it didn't, but now it does, so some things might be looking a bit too big or bigger than before, such as the farms but we've gone ahead and updated a lot of the sprites to make up for that. Now to the exciting bits, if we head on over to the left, we can see the new area that's been added. There is a lovely barn here with a lot of cats sleeping in the window. I think that's that's the best addition. Like the little snoring cat up there. You will be able to click on it and pet it in the future, of course, because, you know, we can't just add a cat without doing that. But yeah, over here is your farming area, so well, your animal farming area. <laughs> so if we open up the UI, we can go ahead and click on this tab. And as you can see, a lot of it's locked right now, but uh, we can buy the chickens. So if we click on some of these chickens, they currently just plop out from the sky. They don't have an animation yet, but that will come soon. And it's the same thing as the farms. We can harvest them, well, collect <laughs> their products every now and then. I'm debating adding another sort of creature that will help you automatically collect all of these animals because currently you just have to walk around and do it yourself and that's not very good. The animals have also not been balanced so you'll see plus one coming out of the chicken. I, I really think it's going to give more than one gold every time you harvest it. Up here is a balloon and when you click on it you get 100 gold. It's just a random little thing that will appear about every two minutes and yeah they come in four different colors. It's just another way for you to get some gold and to have something to do really. In the animals tab you can see the different animals we've got. We've got the chicken, a sheep, a bunny, a goat, a duck, a cow and a pig. I want to add another animal so if you have any idea then please let me know. Just keep in mind it must be something that produces something. What I mean by that is that the animal that we want to add has to produce some form of product. So for instance how chickens lay egg, sheep have their fur and I don't know cows give milk so anything like that would be great but let's get into why these are locked so i've gone ahead and added prestigious to the game 
So now there will be some button here in the UI, it doesn't exist just yet, but there will be a button that can tell you to prestige your game. So prestige points currently lock stuff like animals, and as you can see, these are the required points that you need in order to unlock something. You gain prestige points compared to how much gold you have. So currently I have 28,000 gold, and if I just in the console right now type prestige, I should now gain two points and lose every piece of progress, except for the regions. I don't know whether or not I want to log the regions again, I think they will be, but the other plan was to have some of them just cost prestige points instead. I'm not really sure, if you have an idea let me know. Starting off good with a balloon and now I can just replay the game again. Anyway now that I have some prestige points I can go ahead and unlock a new animal, so for instance the bunny, and now I can actually spawn that. This obviously means that the more points it costs, the more gold it's going to produce as well. Finally, let me show you one of the biggest features that I've added and one of the most important ones. If I go ahead and place, let's say, a carrot farm here and here and then a potato farm right there, I can now wait for some crops to grow or something and let's let's just say we wait a bit. Okay, I discovered a bug live. <laughs> These don't update anymore. <laughs> let's change that at some point. Anyway, let's let's not think about that for now. If I go ahead and I save the game and I quickly exit and load it back up, we should now see that the game has loaded. It took a bit to display on OBS so the crops grew whilst I was waiting. But essentially you can now save the game by clicking here, there's also going to be some auto saving in the future and just saving on special moments like prestiging and so on. And yeah, that took a bit to add so we can officially save and load the entire game. It may seem like I haven't added too much in the last two months but I did have some time where I didn't work on the project as well as starting back up university on my final year, there's a lot to do there, so hopefully I can still produce content on this and give the game updates. I do think that the game is starting to look really amazing, especially with the new artwork from Kelrea. I mean, look at it. Whenever I'm walking around, compare this to the first episode, like the first devlog, and like, I, I don't know, I wouldn't believe we ever got here. The final thing that I want to talk about for this devlog is the Steam page that I want to set up for the game. I'm planning to have it done within the next month or so, and I hope that you guys will help me with one major problem that I'm having right now, and it's the biggest one of them all. It's the name for the game. You probably haven't heard me mention what this game's called, and that's because we don't have a name. I'm finding it extremely hard to come up with a name for the game because, I, I don't know, I'm just used to calling it my game, so <laughs> anything sounds odd to me, so I thought I'd go ahead and ask everyone if they had any idea. So far we've had a few suggestions, but there hasn't really been anything where I've gone, wow, that's a great name, I'm definitely gonna want that. And I feel like that's very important for me in order to sort of just be happy with, with the overall game. Just so you have an idea, I want to keep it short and catchy, but also not include words like idol or so on, even though it is an idol game, because, I don't know, something that's sort of made up might be nicer. I want to give Kelra a huge shout out for helping so much with the project and making it look so much better than it did before. Like, without him, the project wouldn't even be anywhere near the stage that it is at, because I would have spent so much time working on developing features instead of, or sorry, so much time working on the artwork instead of developing the features for the game. And it's just nice that, you know, I can put focus into what I'm good at and then someone else can come in and make it look way better. Finally, I want to say a huge shout out to all of the Patreon followers that we've got. We're now up to three, which is crazy. Thank you guys so much. If you do want to support the game and help us just mainly with marketing things, then make sure to head down into the description, check out the Patreon, or even just tell your friend about this game, that would be really cool. I hope that all of you like the game as much as I do, it's coming together really really well, and hopefully it will not be another two months before the next video. Actually, I will, I will promise, it's not going to be another two months for sure. I'm going to leave it here for today though, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, take care, and goodbye.